She has the answers about what her prophet Muhammad said, women are half brain, Sahih al-Bukhari, 304. Take note, guys, and don't forget to like, comment on the video. I mentioned something about, I mentioned something about women. Did I lie in Islam? I, I mentioned that according to your religion, that your prophet is racist against women too. He said women are half a brain. Why did he say that? Do you know? Explain to us. I'm listening. But can we have a yeah, can we can we have an agreement, yeah. me and you? Can we have an agreement before we start? That if I talk, you yeah. stop. You, if you talk, you know, like we we give time to each other to to take back forward. Is that okay? Yeah. Or, and and do you and do you and do you promise me and and do you promise me? No, no. No, listen, listen. And do you promise me that I don't have to repeat my question a thousand times to make you answer? Please. Okay. So okay. So now the so guys, the the mic is yours. Why your prophet? He said women are half a brain. Go ahead. Okay. So I asked me. He said that for a certain reason, but how I wanted to answer by asking. You, how did you get this information from which hadith? And the answer for your question is in the same hadith. So he got asked, why do you say this about women? So uh -huh. he replied, because isn't it mentioned that uh, in the testimony of a, a man equivalent to two women, mm -hmm. that's the reason why he said so. Are you done? So, Are you done? Yes. So, so you, so you, so, so you, so you, so you agree. So you agree that women are half a brain. No, no, just for that reason that he said he mentioned the reason, but you don't want to consider the reason because you have a certain agenda you want to. Push. Okay, the reason is the reason is made by who? By Muhammad, right? It's mentioned in Quran. But this is Muhammad saying, so he is proving what he is saying from something he said. Like now you're asking me, what is the proof? Let us say I'm the one who came with this idea that women is half a brain. So you say to me, okay, Christian Prince, what is your proof? I say, I said in my book, The Deception of Allah, that women are half a brain. Yeah, that's what you said. You said to me, the Quran, the Quran is the, the, Quran is the book of Muhammad. So do Muhammad have a proof that women are half a brain, except that he said that I said, <coughs> Hmm? He did not say I said. He manipulated even the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he said the, the proof is a, the proof you mentioned is from the Quran. The Quran is what he said. <laughs> same. I know you think you're doing a good job and you're being smart, but I'll save you time. No problem. So basically, Quran is, is revelation from Allah, uh -huh. and the word of Allah comes first, and uh -huh. then Prophet Muhammad quotes from the Quran. Okay. So he said that the, the woman, they ask him, why? Can uh -huh. not even say, no, you're misogynistic, you, you hate women. They don't say, say that. They just ask them, why do you say so? He told them, it's mentioned that your testimony is equivalent to women, testimony is equivalent to one man. That's why he said so. But what do you want to do, Christian uh, Prince, what he wants to do? Guys, Islam said about women. They aren't uh, inintelligent, they are fewer to men. I promise you, you're making me feel about myself, which is like, I don't see myself, but you're making me feel that I'm smart. How does that make me inferior to you? Are you done? You make me feel that I'm smarter than you. Are you done? Okay. Yes. Guys, let us see how smart she is. She just said to us that the women, they are, they, hold on, it's my time, it's my time. You promise me, you promise me, you promise me. You just said that you feel you feel smart because your prophet said you are stupid, and you agree with him. I mean, guys, can you believe it? You just say no. You said that. You said the hadith explain it, and the, the proof is their witnesses. They are not allowed to be witness. Two are equal to one. Why two are equal to one? Because hold on. It's, you see, you promised. You made a promise. I listen to you. We cannot talk in the same time. All right. So so. You said you are smart because the hadith explained it to you, Christian Prince, because women in the Quran cannot be witnessed two women equal to one. But why two women equal to, to one? The, the hadith we already says, naqis, nuqsanu aql, naqisatu aql. Their brain yeah. is not functional, is not 
Good. This what naqisat wa aql. So now you, what you are saying to me that you are smart because you're a prophet saying your brain is bad. And what make it more horrible, yes, and what make it more horrible, he is saying because of that you will go to hell. Correct? The hadith says that the, ha the hadith says that. <laughs> what it's in front of you. It says he said the majority of women, the majority of women are people of hell. Guys, am I making things up? It's in front of you. Ah, she have half a brain. She has half a brain. She cannot see it. Isn't it really? Is it mentioned? That's why they have. Sorry, women have. Of a brain, that's a lot of us, so that's why they go to hell. Yes, is that what yes, read it. Okay, mean? okay, they ask him why they are guys, they ask him why we will go to hell. Why we will go to hell, he said, because you are half, because you are half a brain, because you are half a brain, because you, because he will go. A woman, she said, okay. The lacking of discrement in the religion and more overwhelming of a man wisdom than you. The lacking, it's your prophet. The lacking, the lacking, the lacking. So your prophet keeps saying that you have a lack of intellect brain. You have a lack of, 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 of intelligence. And because of that, you will go to hell. A woman, she asked him, what is the proof? What is the proof of the lack of intelligence we have? What is the proof? Muhammad he have. Did your prophet say the proof of your the lack of your common sense? Did he say that? No, he did not say that. Well, I am showing the reference in front of your eyes. So you are lying. Apologize. How many times I have to tell you I do not see your screen? No, but you said you know. But you said, but hold on, hold on. But you said, you, you said you know the hadith. So you do not need me to show it to you. Okay. So as long as you know the hadith, you should know what it says there. As long as you know it. All right. Because because you know the hadith, because you know the hadith, then why you keep saying to me, I cannot see it. You know the hadith. Okay, read from the from for me from the hadith you are reading. No, actually, um, okay. Um, but it's just explaining the part that you're missing, but this is not really for you because I know what you're trying to do. Read the hadith I'm showing you. We can go to the Quran after you read the hadith. Go ahead. I just gave it to you. Oh, it's too long. It's no problem. Long. No problem. No, no, no. You can read. We have time. We have time. We have time. You have a lack of brain, so your time do nothing. It's useless. So no, read, no, read it for... Does it say, you accuse me? You accuse... His brain really... I'm talking about the verse is very long. You said, you said, you said it doesn't say that. So you are, you are accusing me. Right, right. But you accuse me of lying. You accuse me of lying. I want you to read it. Okay. Okay, read it. Read it. It says, it says, does, you, I said that women have deficiency in their brain. You said no, it doesn't say that. I promise you. I promise you. What's your IQ, dude? One out of 100. That's why I drink camel urine. You are talking about IQ. You are talking about IQ, and you agreeing that you are half a brain. <laughs> according to your prophet, according to your prophet, I can be, I can be a full witness in the court. I can be a full witness in the court. You cannot. Is that because my IQ is better than yours? Yes, according to your prophet. So now listen. Why you lie and why you lie? And you said, nowhere in the hadith it says that women they have deficiency in their brain, and that's why they will go to hell. Read it. I gave you the link. Mm. Now, All right. Let me please clarify something. Okay, clarify. So when Allah said that it's the testimony of one man is equivalent to two women, he actually mentioned the reason in Quran, but the verse is very long. It's uh -huh. not even allowed me in this court to post it. But it's mentioned in the Quran um, that one might forget, so the other would remind her. Mm. Okay, so this deficiency that you're talking about is uh, when it comes to their memory, when they justify on writing a debt or something, uh -huh. one of them might forget. So the other woman must uh, like remind her of what's happening. That's why we need a testimony if two women 
is that um, if there is no one man, and that's the reason, the only reason that he says that, he quotes in the Quran and the Quran explains that. But what you do, Christian friends, and I'm pretty sure a lot of Christians, they follow your footsteps here, they go to Muslim women and they say, you know, you, you have a brain, you, you cannot think, you don't talk to me, but, which is not the case. We have in Islam, Aisha herself, she was one of the smartest women in Islam. She narrated a lot of hadith. And we have examples of different women making a lot of contribution when it comes to education. And raising families is not like an easy thing to do. And presidents too, by the way. Are you, are you done? Big, big stuff when it comes to work. No, I'm not done. So I'm actually looking at the hadith at the moment. Mm -hmm. And it is saying why the women, and uh, like the majority of them, they go to heaven. And he... Literally, in the hadith, it's mentioning the reason why. Is that because? because um, it is because, because you curse a lot and you in English. Wait. Uh, you make you make your you, you, you cause your spouse to be infidel. I'm just translating. Just hold on. I'm just helping you. I'm helping you, dude. So. He said, you are cursing so much, meaning uh -huh. you are ungrateful towards your husband. Uh -huh. And he said, and I have not seen any among those lacking in intellect and religion. Do you know also what the reason, uh, the reason of lacking in religion? Uh -huh. Do you know why it's... No, tell me. I'm listening. You don't? Okay. Uh -huh. uh, who are more difficult upon people processing reason and insight than you? A woman, a woman among, you, uh, among them said, she, so she asked why it's a deficiency, so he replied for the testimony, and he replied for the lack of religion, which is still mentioned in the same hadith you wrote, for God's sake, just read if you read, I swear Allah is going to change in your life. So he said it's because the ministration, the lack of religion is ministration, because one of you will go three or four days without performing a lot. So the reason that he's given for lack of brain and, uh, or, or intellect and lack of religion is just too much for this and the other will remind her of the Quran and lack of religion because they have menstruation and uh, the comparison between the prayer and that is not the same okay are you done all right. All right. So, guys, she just she just showed us. She just showed us. It's my turn. It's my turn. It's my it's my turn. Okay. She just said. First of all, I said to her, it says that the reason for them to go to hell is that she said no, it doesn't say that. As you see, the Muslims are dishonest. A true an, an honest Muslim is an ex-Muslim. It says right away, you are the majority of people of fire. She explained to us now. She said they will be in hell because they have ministration and because they don't fast like others and their witnessing is not accepted because they have a lack of intellect and deficiency in their brain. But look how oh, it's my turn. It's my turn. Oh, it's, 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 my it's my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. Hold on. So guys, so now oh, just wait. You say, okay. Do you want me to give you the mic back? Okay, why women, why women, they will go to hell? The mic is yours again. You see, I, you, you took my time. You don't want to let me talk. You jump on me, over me. Okay, I will give you the mic. So now, women, they will go to hell based on the story. Why? He explained to them why. The reason that they are stupid, they have half a brain, they have a lack of intellect, they don't, they have a lack of religion. Right? Mic is yours. Go ahead. <laughs> no, actually, um, I still recommend that you read, and I said, like, after I finish the case, you will repeat it again, and you will start over again, but it's okay, not everybody learns from the first time. Okay, what the connection between going to hellfire and they have okay, they have ministration? Yeah, what the connection? Yeah. No, ex explain to people what the connection between him saying. They ask him why? Why will go to hell? He said because you have ministration. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what the connection between no, ministration? Okay, no, he said they have lack of inter that. yes because you have deficiency in religion. What is deficiency in religion? What is the deficiency? He gave us two reasons. One deficiency in the brain, and one is deficiency in their vagina. 
So there's two deficiency, one between the legs and one in the head. Why are you being nasty? You're a prophet. He, your, your Quran says it. It says, it says, the Quran says, okay, what the word, what the word, listen, listen. When you read the Quran, how many times the word vagina appear? What? So if, if it's nasty language, why your God says, why your God, he says that Mary, the one who protected the vagina. Listen, listen. So now. Please, do you want me to do you, do you let me talk I'm a lawyer I'm a lawyer I have a degree in Islam I have a I have a bachelor degree in Islam don't <laughs> yes yes I am graduated I'm a graduated from Islamic University I'm a qualified to be a judge in Islamic in Islamic Sharia law so don't tell me that? listen listen what listen, listen. University? What, what university the University of Cameroon all of it is nothing but shit you know that so now Wow, You're the University of Shit. I just gave you the name. Well, according to according to your prophet, I can lie to three, to my wife, to my friends, and to my enemies. So, listen, listen. If you are saying if you are saying I'm lying, according to Islam, I can lie. But I'm not a I'm not a Muslim, so I don't lie. I say the truth. You can go and read my profile in Amazon, and you will see. Otherwise, people they can check on me, and they will see his liar. But people will expose me. So listen. Now, you have deficiency in your religion. What is deficiency? It's because you have leak in your vagina. That will take you to hell. What kind of a stupid man he says such a statement? Who is the one who made the women? If she is, if, hold on, it's my time, it's my time. Who is the one who made the women has half a brain? Guys, who is the one who created the women? Who is the, who is the, man, who is the one who created the women? Listen, who is the one who created the women with half a brain? Allah. So Allah, He created the woman with half a brain. He made her have a difficulty and lack of understanding. He have a lack of intellect. Allah made her this way, and Allah made her have have menstruation. And now Allah will send Allah will send her to Allah will send her to hell. No, I'm not. It's in the front of you. Who is the one who made them? Okay, they have a lack of religion. Why this is considered as a lack deficiency? Because. Allah made them have ministration. So now your God is so stupid. He think he have IQ and the Muslim have no IQ, the woman. So now because you have leak in your private part, you have deficiency in religion. How in the world that work? Deficiency in your religion should be about you have a lack of faith, not about you have leak in your private part. What does have to do with this? So a woman, just because she have ministration, she is now have a lack and deficiency in religion. And now the reason she will go to hell because she is a stupid. And look what you said. You said the Quran explained to you what the Quran says. If one of them, if, the, if one of them, if one of them forgot, hold on. If one of them forgot, hold on, I'll give you the mic. What do you say? What do you say? What? <laughs> You spoke for long. Oh, it's my time. It's my time. I did not jump over you. You promised me. It's my turn. I like to repeat. I like to repeat. I speak. I speak. The Muslims are like donkeys for me. You have to repeat for them. So now, you said that the women, the Quran. How do you understand the language of donkeys if you are not one of them already? Well, you're a prophet. He spoke to Yafur and he asked him one question. Do you like females? I can show you the reference. Is that true? Did your prophet speak to the donkey and he asked him, do Finish. you like females? No, 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 no. You see, you're trying to insult me. You're trying to insult me. But is it true, your prophet? He asked the donkey. The whole time All right. I like him I, I, because I say the truth. The truth is insulting. The truth is insulting. So, so you said how you can speak to donkeys unless you speak your language. So do your prophet speak the language of the donkeys when he asked him, do you like females? Uh, are you going to say the same about Solomon or something? Well, Solomon, he spoke to the donkey. According to your Quran, he, he learned the language of the birds, but he spoke to the ant. He spoke to every, every animal. You're so weird. Suleiman, he's, so the, but the Quran says Allah taught him the language of the birds. Guys, Suleiman, he spoke the language of all animals. Okay, this is, this is a nice, this is nice Disneyland, Disneyland movie. Okay, Disneyland movie. So now let's go back to zero. Let's go back to zero. Okay. So now, why women, they have, a, they will go to hell? Why women, they will go to hell? Muhammad explained. It's not only the curse. He said they curse. Okay, but why they curse? 
because they have a lack of intellect. They are stupid. You said to me that the women in the Quran says, if one of them forgot, the other one remind her. Can you explain to us, please, how you explain to us that if one woman she forgot, what does that mean? One woman forgot, the other one remind her. Does that mean women are stupid and they do that more than men? And men, they don't forget? The mic is yours. Okay, so I, I said you know, beat yourself in I gave you that question. Please go ahead. Why the women, if she but forgot, do that? I am allowed to take my time a bit. You are asking me. You are asking me. So I have to talk. You just, you just ask no, me. No, I'm not asking you. I'm saying a statement. This oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh huh. So basically, for the same, for the second time, if anybody listens to what you're saying and he has like the hadith and he can read. I don't understand how you might have a follower, how there might be somebody that is convinced with what you're saying, while what's written is totally against what you're saying. So for the second time, he said, like, you, the majority of women go to hell because they curse a lot, which is true, and no, can, no one can deny so. And he said, it's because, like, you, like, don't feel like you're not grateful to your husbands. All right. So, so that's, that's a reason for going in majority in big numbers of women to hell. Okay. That's, that's one criteria finished. There's one point finished in that study. The second is the, the, the deficiency of intellect. He said because your testimony is equivalent to two women is for one man. Why? It's because one might forget, so the other needs to remind her. You made this. He uh, connected these dots with stupidity, which says a lot about your understanding and your mindset and mentality, really. If forgetting is stupidity, you need to get that shit. So this is the second criteria. The third is the lack of religion. So because of menstruation, women, they don't fast, they don't pray, they stop doing a lot of stuff, which is permissible by Allah. Allah is not shaming Muslim women for having menstruation and not praying. He is the one who said, if you have your menstruation, do not pray and do not fast. You don't have to do that. So how would he say, you don't have to pray and fast, yet you're going to heaven because you have your menstruation? What's your faith against, against logic, logic? Really? So, so if anybody follows you, he pulls it, kills into the, the same criteria that you are in, which is understanding the language of donkeys. And only donkeys, donkeys you're, you're not even understanding the other animals. It's only donkeys, donkeys that you understand the language of. I'm finished. Let, let's hope, let's pray that I'm not going to be this for the Are you done? Time. Okay. Guys, read with me carefully. Yes. Muhammad is giving the reason in why they will go to hell. He continued, he said, after they said they curse him too much, and he said, and I have not, he is giving the reasoning, continue. I have not seen any among those lacking in intellect. By the way, translation is false. It says, naqisatu aql. Their brain is not functional. Not only lack, they don't have it. And religion, so there's two things. So this is the reason they will go to hell. And if Allah is the one who created the women, and he made her stupid. You said to me, it's not about stupid. You are stupid to say that because if you are not a stupid, so you refuse. I, 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 you say, I said to you from the beginning, please, can you not to force me to repeat the question? I said to you, the last question I gave you, why women she forget? Do men, do men, do men don't forget? You say it, listen, listen to the question again. I will give you the mic again because you keep dodging my question. No, no. Please, the Quran, no, okay, the Quran, the Quran yes, says, the Quran, okay, oh, it's my turn, the Quran, I will give you the mic, the it's Quran says, if one of them forgot, the other one remind her, do men forget too, or only women, yeah. and if a woman forget, what does that mean, go ahead. The, uh, you said, the Quran said, because they are, they forget, the other one, they remind her. That means men don't forget. Because if a man forget, he should say the same. Two men, not one man. Because if one man forgot, then the other one will remind him. But the Quran never says so. So the Quran confirmed that men, their brain, that's why he says, they have half a brain. So now their brain is not functional. The man's brain is functional. But women, if they forgot, the other one will remind her. So are you confirming that women 
they cannot remember remember and mean they can remember or the Quran is wrong go ahead Quran is not saying that men don't forget. Quran is not saying that. Where is the mistake of Quran? You said the Quran is saying. The conclusion, the fruit you, you try to get by the end. Conclusion. It's really. It's the thing is, it's my expectations, the problem. Like, I had big expectations on you. I spoke with, like, what is the answer? What is the answer? I don't know. You when the Quran said, okay, if a man don't forget why he's saying, why he's saying only, why he's saying only women, why he's saying only women in the case of women, you choose women of your choice, not only women, they have to be of your choice, and only in the case of borrowing money, not in the case of a capital punishment. So, in your choice, in the case of borrowing money, if you accept two women, for if one of them forgot, the other will remind her. So, the Quran assuming that women forget men they don't otherwise the quran should say same for the men two men not one so if one of them forgot other one will remind her but the quran never say that only in the case of women okay go ahead uh-huh uh -huh. so the thing is the men bring they were, they were more practical than the women the women bring were more in an emotional side so we're talking about writing a death and this testimony is something basically not being emotion. So women, they tend to have very, very good memory when it comes to their personal relationship. It's very famous in us as women. We don't forget what our husbands did. But when we talk about any other matter in life, we tend to forget. And this is coming from, from a woman and any woman can confirm that. So Allah said, this is a serious matter, which is a writing of a debt. If there is an injustice testimony, bring to a woman in case someone uh, forgets the other will remind her. What would happen if the first woman actually have a good memory? Do we need the second to remind her of something she already memorized or remembered? Yes. So? If yes. she remember, do we need the second woman? Yes. It's a condition. Now, now we have a definition of stupidity speaking to us. Well, in front of everybody, shall we open the interpretation for the for the verse? Either you are stupid or I'm stupid. You still need the two. It's a condition yeah, in the Quran. They cannot see. Cannot cannot see see no, we can. No, we can open. We can share the link. Don't worry. We can open Ibn Kathir. We can open Ibn Kathir. Al Qurtubi Al Tabari. We can show fatwa. All Muslims agree. Even women, she cannot be a witness for the case of murder. So listen, listen. It's my time. It's my time. It's my time. So look what you said. So women, because she is a stupid. So if one of them forgot, hold on. That's my time. So if one of them forgot, the other one remind her. But if they, but if they are, if they have a lack, if they have a lack of intellect, to Two women who have lack of intellect, they will not make one smart. You Muslims are stupid because if already she have lack of intellect, that's what your prophet saying. She have all of them. Not one of them is smart. The other one, no. She said all of you. The majority of you will go to hell. Why? Because women, 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 they have a lack of intellect. So now if we have one woman, she have a lack of intellect. Listen, but they, listen, listen, listen. Hold on. Shut up. It's my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. So if we have one person and have lack of intellect, now we make them two persons, still they are lack intellect. We made them three persons, still they are lack intellect. We made them 5,000, still they are lack of intellect. So how adding more, less intellect will make us smart? That is how stupid your prophet, the mic is yours. Do you want to call your dad? Sorry? How adding more... How adding more stupid women to the witness stand will make them smarter. If the woman is a stupid, having two stupid will not make it smarter. Just, having three stupid will not make it you're smarter. Just, you're just protecting yourself and you're disrespecting yourself. It's, it's not like you're disrespecting any Muslim women or something. If you're putting yourself in a very, very bad situation. Very bad, I know. I, 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 like you're being disrespectful and somebody will get offended by your mentality or what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Behave like people will listen more to you if you behave. What, what the word behave? What, what the word? What the word behave mean? What the word? 
Yeah. Okay, what the word behave anyway. mean? Is is it is it behave if I see a woman in the street walking by? Oh God, I got horny. Listen, listen. No. What, what? Okay, do your prophet? I want you to be honest with me. Do your prophet see women are stupid and evil or yes or no? Not. All right, guys. He said us oh, not. Of course, of course not. Isn't it your prophet? He says women she come in the image of the devil and she live in the image of the devil. Again, I, I still I don't know why I get surprised with your way of thinking, but I'll try. You know. Okay, yeah, I, because I'm not smart like you. Your prophet, he said, you are debating me. You are de you are debating me. You are debating to me. You are debating me to prove to me that you are stupid. And now you are saying I'm not stupid. I'm not smart. So listen, your prophet, he says, women, she, women, 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 women approach. Apolo apologize you said okay so did you so did your prophet say did your prophet say women she come in the image of the devil and she live in the image of the devil you said no mean you are you, that mean that mean he believe you are the devil Really? Explain to us how the women, when she come, any women, she come in the image of the devil, she live in the image of the devil. Lily, tell us how. Okay, because I, you know, you are smart. So now you are a woman, your prophet, he call you the devil, and you are saying that you are, okay, did your prophet, you mentioned to me, you, you mentioned to me, you mentioned to me, Aisha, did your prophet say that, the, did your prophet, he say, that the devil come from the house of Aisha? Hello? What does that mean? You tell me, what guys, what does that mean? So women, she come in the image of the devil. Shaitan, he live in the house of Aisha. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm waiting. waiting. <laughs> so did your prophet say, did, did your prophet say that the horn of Shaitan in the house of Aisha? Yes or no? Please, please somebody, somebody tell me. me. It's Shaitan. It's the, it's the horn of Shaitan cutting your line. Well, that will not that will not that will not work because your prophet he used the same term. What what? Say again. Really? What is that? What is that? No, what is that? Tell us. Translate, translate. Really? Suddenly you're English? Okay, okay. But your prophet, your prophet, he is, he, your, your prophet is the one who said that, but still Shaitan was able to hijack him and control him. So how come his, his prayer is not working? Isn't it the Hadith says the prophet was under black magic? And even Shaitan... Okay, so your prophet is a so so his so his so his so prayer. Uh huh. So are you saying to me that your prophet he said this when he was under the black magic of shaitan insulting women?